Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. I hope you all had a very beautiful Christmas and you're looking forward to the new year. Today, we're going on a hike. Now, I will be honest, I did wake up a little bit late today. Am I in focus here? Yes, I'm in focus. The time, well, might have been around 1 p.m., but don't we all love the Christmas period? So, anyway, I decided today's the day to get out, to get some fresh air, because I've been cooked up in the house for a few days. Me and Cindy came on a beautiful walk in the mountains on Christmas Day, and I forgot to bring my camera. So today, I'm bringing you guys along with me. You guys seem to love it when I make hiking videos, so my plan is to do more of these. I had to drive from my apartment 36 minutes. That's all it takes to get to the mountains. And now we're in a place called Sierra de Guadarrama National Park. And I think I've told you about this app before, but it's an app called All Trails, and you can literally download the route, download the hike so you don't get lost, even if you've got no data. And the hike we're doing today is two hours there and back. So, it's currently 20 past four and it gets dark at six o'clock. So hopefully if we move fast enough, we'll get the hike complete before it's dark. And if we don't, it might be a little bit scary coming down in the dark. Wow, that coat is way, way too hot. I'm absolutely sweating. We're only half an hour in. And also another thing I want to talk about in today's video is my whoop. I get so many questions about how I sleep, how I track my sleep, how I track my recovery, all of that stuff. As you guys know, since I quit alcohol, my sleep has literally been the best ever. Nothing but green recoveries. I don't think I had one red recovery when I quit alcohol. Of course, I've had a few Christmas beverages here or there, but once it gets to 2024, I will be going teetotal once more because sober life is so much better. So what I did on Instagram is I asked you guys to ask me some questions about whoop, sleep, recovery, all that good stuff. And whilst we're on this hike, I'll answer as many of them questions as we can. Okay, so the first question is a very good question. And the question is, does a red sleep or a poor recovery make you feel down or give you anxiety on that day? And the truth is, if you wake up with a red recovery, chances are you're gonna be feeling pretty bad in the first place because you've not had a good sleep. And you are gonna be kind of thinking about, okay, so why did I get that red sleep? Chances are you either ate too close to bed, you weren't hydrated, you drank alcohol, you trained extremely hard the day before, maybe you ran a marathon or something like that. And the thing is, don't focus on it too much. What I would say is just take that day easy. If you wake up with a red recovery, take the day easy and make sure that the next night you fine tune your sleep, you fine tune your nighttime routine, you take whatever supplements you need, you stay hydrated, you don't eat too close to bed and you make sure that your sleep routine, your nighttime routine is perfect in order to wake up the next day with hopefully a green recovery. But I mean, if you're getting consistent red recoveries, of course it's gonna make you feel down. You're probably gonna feel shitty. So it's time then for you to experiment and see what works best for you in order to get a good night's sleep. That's why the Whoop is very useful. Next question is, I find I'm getting obsessed with my sleep. Am I becoming boring? Honestly, whenever you first get a whoop, you are gonna become obsessed with your sleep. Anyone that I've ever introduced to whoop, which is a hell of a lot of people have always said, Louis, thank you. I didn't realize how bad I was sleeping. I didn't realize the importance of sleep. And now since I've been focused on my sleep, my life has literally completely changed. I think sleep is the number one component of health over nutrition, over exercise, over anything else. Sleep is the number one priority, or it should be. So once you get a whoop, you will probably become obsessed. And again, it's all about self-experimenting, trying different supplements before bed, zinc, magnesium, CBD, all of that stuff. Trying nighttime routines, drinking water throughout the day at different times, stopping eating at certain times, just basically one big self-experiment. And I mean, the metrics and data that the whoop provides is literally insane. So 
I don't think you're becoming boring. I think it's a very good thing to become obsessed with is your sleep. And I think after the first few months, once you learn how to sleep good and how your body responds to certain things and habits, then you can kind of relax a little bit and you kind of know if you've had a good night's sleep or if you haven't. Now I know what you're probably thinking, Louis, how do you know so much about sleep? Well, to be honest, for the last three years, I became obsessed with listening to podcasts, reading books. Matthew Walker, who is probably the number one sleep expert, after myself, of course. But listen to Joe Rogan, Matthew Walker, read Matthew Walker's book. I believe it's called Why We Sleep. And yeah, sleep, improve my sleep, change my life. And I'm kind of just kind of inspiring other people to get a good night's sleep to see how much it's going to improve their life but yeah i find it fascinating and i spend a lot of time researching it and listening to podcasts audiobooks and all that kind of stuff on sleep wow 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 look at the views Also, another thing, in case you're wondering, Cindy told me to tell you, if everyone asks where I am, tell them at work. Cindy is at work, she was at work yesterday, yesterday was Boxing Day. Apparently people in Spain just go straight back to work after Christmas, which I think people in the UK take like a week off for Christmas and New Year, but Cindy's at work unfortunately, so she couldn't join me on today's hike. But we did do this hike just on Christmas Day. I'm aware I'm very dark, but hopefully you can hear me. You don't need to see me, I guess. Oh, I'm literally raging. I must have paused my Apple Watch at half an hour when I stopped to stuff my coat in the bag and I didn't start it again. And now I've been going for probably another half an hour. So it's not gonna attract the calories, which is annoying. But the good thing is, my Whoop will have tracked the calories because the Whoop automatically detects when you're doing exercise. It picks up that your heart rate has increased and then I don't know how it does it, but somehow based on your movement and your motion, it can detect, <sighs> sorry, the air's getting thin up here. Must be some elevation. But anyway, the whoop must detect the type of motion that you're doing and pretty much every time it gets it right. So it'll probably think right now that I'm hiking slash rocking. So yeah, whoops, technology really is insane. And even though, I do get paid and I am sponsored by Whoop. I would still be using it. I would still be their number one fan, even if I wasn't getting paid. Oh, I think it's time for a sandwich because I'm absolutely knackered. I think here's a pretty good spot for a sandwich. Look at this sandwich. Mm. I mean, the bread's a little bit soggy, but the ratio of ham The ratio of ham's pretty good, if you ask me. It's actually really not bad at all. Mmm. Right guys, absolute disaster. You might have noticed that the color has slightly changed in the video. And that is because I just propped my camera up and it was on an unstable surface and the camera fell and smashed. Luckily, only the ND filter smashed. My lens 
is not cracked. I mean, the plastic around the outside is a little bit damaged, but my ND filter is completely written off. Probably a good thing that this was on because that protected the lens and stopped the lens from breaking, but very sad times. Oh man. I knew it was kind of off center a little bit, but I didn't think it was gonna fall. So that's a bummer. Right folks, we're not gonna let it ruin the vibes. My camera is still in working order. The lens isn't broken, only the ND filter is. We can literally pick up another ND filter for 70 euros from the camera shop tomorrow in Madrid. We're not gonna let it ruin our vibes. We're very lucky the camera didn't break. I'm actually super grateful the camera didn't break. It's still recording audio, still works fine. And yeah, the next question that I was filming to answer anyway was, what's the difference between a Whoop and an Apple Watch? which is better and why. Now, they both have their positives and they both have their negatives. I wear both, Whoop on the right, Apple Watch on the left. For me personally, if you wanna track your sleep and your habits, Whoop is number one for sleep tracking out of every other wearable on the market. Apple Watch, I like it because it links up with my phone, gives me notifications, it's got a good interface and it's good for tracking my runs. But if you want me to do a full video on Whoop versus Apple Watch, I can do that. Pretty cool. Little tables and chairs made out of stone. I think I'll finish off my sandwich here. Lovely. Okay, the next question, I'm gonna answer three more questions, okay? The next question is, top three tips for anyone new on Whoop. Numero uno, number one, is use the sleep journal every night before you go to bed or just use the journal in general. Track as much stuff as you possibly can. What you're eating, what supplements you're taking, if you're getting massage, if you're doing ice baths. Track as much as you can every single day. And then, in time, six months, 12 months, Whoop is gonna tell you what your body responds the best to. And also, what affects your, your body and your sleep in bad ways. So, number one is use the journal. Number two. I would say test out the Whoop Coach. It's an AI feature and you can basically ask Whoop any questions related to diet, training, exercise, sleep. You can ask it, okay Whoop, today I trained this, how do I get a good night's sleep tonight? How many hours sleep do I need tonight? What time should I go to bed? Use the Whoop Coach, it's AI, it's literally incredible. That is numero dos, my tip number two. Literally the biggest acorns I've ever seen in my life in this forest. But anyway, tip number three is to check out the poop, poop. <laughs> check out the Whoop podcast. Loads of great guests on there. Loads of useful information. Why can I not speak today? Loads of useful information. Also have a look at the Whoop articles. You can get them directly from the Whoop app. If you click like HRV and you want to find out more about HRV, there's articles in detail explaining all of this. Yeah, so on the Whoop app, you'll see if you click like HRV, respiratory rate, whatever, stress monitor, Whoop will pull up articles. The Whoop app will pull up articles to tell you more information about what these things are and kind of explain them in more detail. So the sooner you find out about all of that stuff, the more use you'll get out of your Whoop. Okay guys, so the sun is just about to dip below that mountain peak. So what I'm gonna do is quickly get the drone up, get some sick shots before that sun dips right down and then we're pretty much in darkness. So I guess it's time to go home. We didn't quite make it as far as what I expected. Loads of dogs. I thought I was up here alone, but apparently not. Anyway, next question is what supplement do I recommend for a good night's sleep? Now, I recently got spo sponsored by this company, Arctis, absolutely amazing brand, based in Sweden, CBD products, really, really high quality supplements. Now it is a little bit higher priced, but that's because the quality of the CBD is amazing. Now, I have previously been taking the 750 milligram melatonin, magnesium, ashwagandha, vitamin B sleep capsules, but I recently changed up to this. This is the CBD drops, 2000 milligram CBD plus CBN, melatonin, lavender, chamomile, 
me and Cindy both take this before we go to bed and it is literally probably the best sleep formula I have ever tried in my life. These products from Octus are amazing. I only brought a few with me, but I've got loads at home. I've been using them all throughout the day. This is 750 milligrams CBD with ginseng, lion's mane, ashwagandha, all the stuff to help you focus and concentrate whilst you're working, whilst you're trying to do that deep work. So Octus, big shout out to Octus for sponsoring me because they have really been a game changer. I didn't realize how much I needed these supplements, CBD and stuff like that. CBD is especially good for me who I, I run a lot, so it kind of reduces inflammation. Anyway, there's so much I could talk about, but I'm not gonna do it all in one video, but check out the Octus pro products. I'll put the link down below in the description. I highly recommend the sleep drops and the sleep capsules. I'll put them specifically linked so you know, which, what, so you know what to look for, but I promise, the drops take them 15 minutes before you go to bed. The capsules take them one hour before you go to bed. And don't take them both, one or the other. But yeah, shout out to Octus. Use my link, support your boy. It's always appreciated, as you guys know. And yeah, once you nail your nighttime routine and you start getting good sleeps, your life will change forever, I promise. Anyway, let's quickly get the drone up and then get down before it gets dark. I've just realized I'm probably an hour and a half away from the car park because my watch has been going for 70 minutes and I reckon it was stopped for half an hour and the sun now is literally disappearing. <laughs> so I think what we're gonna do, it's literally getting freezing cold as well. Pack everything into the bag, including the camera and the tripod. People are shouting. I don't know. I'm gonna be getting, I'm, I feel a little bit scared to be trapped here in the dark. So everything's going in the bag. The drone was kind of disappointing because I left it too late. Never mind, I was too busy eating that sandwich. Okay guys, so fortunately we made it back without getting eaten by any bears or getting attacked by any of the creatures of the night. It was a little bit scary coming down on my own in the pitch black, but we made it. Very, very beautiful walk. Literally, honestly, I'm so buzzing. I need to do that more often. You literally can't beat this shit. Madrid is so good because it's always sunny, the sky's clear, it barely ever rains and yeah, I'm on a high. I'm on an all time high. Get outdoors, do some hiking, do some walking, go without your headphones, bring your phone for safety and just be alone in your own fort. It's gonna be, it's gonna be beneficial. Anyway, let's go home. Okay, so the final question I wanted to answer before we got down the mountain regarding Whoop is, Louis, how do you get your HRV so high? Now, one thing that's important to remember is that HRV is actually measured on different scales depending on your device. So if you have an Apple Watch, if you have an Aura Ring, whatever you have, depending on the device, the HRV is rated on a different scale. Now, my HRV has crept up significantly since I quit alcohol, but I think HRV is something, <laughs> and it seems to have gone dark. Anyway, so HRV can be quite dependent on genetics. If you have good genetics, you might have a higher HRV. And again, just in terms of overall health, if your overall health is good, your HRV will be higher. If your sleep has been good, your HRV will be higher. If your routine, if your habits, if your cardiovascular health, if you're in good physical peak top tip shape, your HRV will be higher. If you're doing things that are detrimental to your body, smoking, drinking, not getting enough sleep, all of that stuff, your HRV will definitely be lower. How did we have it before? There we go, I like it like that. Um, so yeah, HRV, don't get too focused on it. It's not something that you can, it's gonna vary, it's, it's always gonna vary. It's not something that you can completely control. So don't focus too much on HRV. Obviously the higher the better. After a good night's sleep, it's gonna be higher. So yeah, HRV is, it's a complicated one. It's a complex one. Do some re research on it yourself. Have a look on the Whoops, have a look at Whoops articles about HRV and just educate yourself. But anyway, we're gonna go home. I think we'll go and find Cindy. Cindy's at work, we'll go and surprise her. And then I'll just keep vlogging so you guys can come with me. But wow, what an amazing day. Very, very lucky to have had such a beautiful day here in Madrid. Vamos. Okay, 
guys, so you're not gonna believe it, but I came down from the mountain and me and Cindy decided, well, I've been looking at everyone's Christmas dinners all Christmas, very jealous, because you can't really get a traditional English Christmas dinner in Spain. And Cindy's family cooked me a Venezuelan Christmas dinner, which is, what are the, what, what do you get in the Christmas dinner from Venezuela? Ajacas. Ajacas. I put them on the screen so you can see what they look like and what they're made of. Very different to English Christmas dinner. So, what we've done is, Cindy's been just chilling, and I've whipped up this. Literally, pigs in blankets, we've got creamy mashed potato, we've got roast potatoes, roast carrots, onions, and then this, don't look at this, this is the gravy. I don't know how to make a gravy. They don't sell gravy in Spain. So I put a stock cube and some, no, I don't. the gravy is not the vibe, but this looks good. This is like chicken, wow. Stuffed with, I don't even know what, but we're gonna eat it now. And next, we'll tell you if it actually tastes good or not. Can you believe that I've literally whipped this all up myself? I mean, look, come and look at this. Look at the presentation. Look at that. All alone. <laughs> Very happy. <laughs> Thank you for the dinner, the more Christmas. You my chef, chef now in the world. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the Merry Christmas to your food that your country. Okay, vamos, let's eat. Bueno, was eat from Stein. The chicken, the potatoes. I'm gonna put just a little bit of this, okay. but it's what is this? Muy salt. It's like the sauce of your country, but you mm, okay. create it. Mmm! The worst sauce. Where did you cook? From what is your secret? The sauce. Wow. Be careful, it's very rico. salty. Mmm! It's like mantequilla with chicken. See. Sí. Tell me why you cook the sauce. The secret, the sauce. The sauce is just the stock from the chicken, from the vegetables. Like mm, muy rico. Sí. It's the color yellow. Mmm. Wow, you know, cooked everywhere. Mmm. Mm. Oh my God. Send me the secret of the salchicha. Look at the salchicha. The secret is it's just a pig in a blanket. Guys, I'm gonna be completely honest. It's really, really good. Mmm. <laughs> really good. I can't believe it. Mm. It's different than the potato, why? See. Where's your secret mm. of your recipe? So, we have two types of potato. We have creamy mashed potato, and we have roast potatoes. Mm -hmm. So, in order to make this potato, you boil the potatoes for 20 minutes. Okay. 15 minutes. Next, wow. you put, I put these potatoes separate to these potatoes. These potatoes, cover them in butter and oil, stick them in the oven for one hour with the chicken, turn them every 15 minutes so they get nice and crispy. This, you just mash it like this. It's different the texture. Yeah, see. You like it? Mm-hmm. Good. This is your gift, the more crispy ones. Inside. Is it from you or is it from Santa Claus? For, Papa Noel. Papa Noel because you, it's a good boy. Good good boy for it. Mm. The the chocolate and you finish. See, for our raw shapes. Exactly. So now another gift. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cindy's very intelligent <laughs> with the gifts. No, it's I want you forgive me never. <laughs> <laughs> My picture together. It's muy bonito. I remember you be sorry time. Look. Baby, but it's a terrible. You don't forget me. Cindy now. <laughs> Cindy so now. You wanna and you port a folly and the telephone. It's on both. Election. Both sides of my phone. <laughs> Gracias, baby. I love it. Thanks. <laughs> 